Hi everyone, welcome to another video from Not Real Engineering. And in today's Abacus tutorial, we are going to see how to create random inclusions inside a matrix using Python scripting. This video is a part of video series Python scripting in Abacus. So if you are new to Python scripting in Abacus, I would highly suggest to go and watch tutorial 1 first and then continue with this video. Link for tutorial 1 is in the description. In this video, we are going to create a cubical RVE, something like this, which has a polymer matrix and inside that there are many circular inclusions and those circular inclusions are randomly dispersed. So every time if you run the same code again, you will get some different geometry. Now this type of analysis is mostly used for composite materials where this blue part will be some polymer matrix and these will be the filler particles. And usually this process will be repeated for many iterations, which means we will simulate this one geometry first, then we will simulate this second geometry and we will keep on doing this for maybe 10, 20, 50 iterations. And our final results will be average of all those iterations. Therefore, obviously, when you want to do such large number of iterations, it is very difficult to do manually. And that's why we are going to write a Python script, which will automate this process. While writing Python script, we have to consider some things. The first and most important thing is inclusions should not overlap. Therefore, whenever we create a new random inclusions, we have to make sure that it is not overlapping or intersecting with any existing inclusions. Also, we are going to make sure that it doesn't intersect with boundary as well. This second part is not necessary, but for simplicity of this video, I am going to do this. Maybe later on we can create inclusions which are cut by boundary. So inclusion something like this as well we can do, but not in this video. Then second thing is we are going to maintain some distance between each inclusions. Therefore, you will not find inclusions touching each other or which are very close to each other. And this we are doing so that we will get a good quality of mesh. And third, this process should continue until desired volume fraction is reached. What that means is in each of these cases, there are exact same number of inclusions. And until that number of inclusions are not fulfilled, we will keep creating new random inclusions and we will keep checking if they can be accommodated or not. And once we have this geometry ready, what we are going to do is we are going to fix the bottom edge of this RV and we are going to apply a displacement boundary condition on the top edge of RV. The dimensions of RV are given over here and you can see we will apply a displacement of one millimeter on this top edge. Our aim is to get homogenized Young's modulus. So Young's modulus of matrix is given over here, which is 100 megapascal and Young's modulus of inclusion is given over here, which is 1000 megapascal. So you can see inclusions are stiffer than matrix and we want to calculate the overall Young's modulus of this whole RVE. And how we can do that is we know the displacement what we applied we will measure the reaction force on this fixed surface and we can calculate overall Young's modulus by knowing the reaction on this surface and also the displacement boundary conditions. Now this whole example is loosely based on this paper which I have shown over here. In this paper the matrix is considered as viscoelastic material which is closer to reality. Here I am simplifying material properties because our aim of this video is not to simulate viscoelastic material. I have a separate video about viscoelastic material. You can go and check that video and you can find some more details in this paper how to make this more realistic like you can go into 3D simulations and many more things. This is the Python script which we are going to use to create those random inclusions. If you want this script so that you can run it on your own machine, you can go to my GitHub website and you can find all the codes I used in this website. For example, this is the repository for code from this video and you can download this code as well. You just have to click over here and click on download zip and you can download this code. I will put the link of this repository in the description box below, but you can always go into the main page, not real engineering. And over here, you can see all other repositories as well. And you can download all other codes as well, which are used in this channel. Now I will quickly explain you what this code is, how it works. And then we will start Abacus CA and run this code. First, after importing bunch of stuff, I'm deciding inclusion radius over here. Max iterations is how many iterations we want to do. So when you set this to 11, you will get 10 jobs. Maximum inclusion is number of inclusions in each RVE. I am setting it to 25. Now this is the big for loop. So this for loop we will do for 10 times. When it goes from 1 to 11, it doesn't go to 11. It just go up to 10. 
Now some things to consider is you have to create a model each time in this loop and the name of your model should have that loop parameter in it so that model is not overwritten otherwise it will always overwrite your model one again and again. That's why I'm keeping this parameter Q. So as the value of Q will change, the model name will change. So it will start from model one, it will go up to model 10 and everywhere you have to replace the model name by this name. Then we are creating a part. First we are creating a square. One corner is minus 10, 10, another corner is 10 minus 10, which means side of square is 20. These are all standard things what you can see in my other video as well. But this is the portion where we are creating random inclusions. This is the counter to count how many inclusions are already created. So first we are setting it to zero. This is X coordinate, Y coordinate. This list is initially empty. Then what we will do is we will create a random X coordinate, which is in between minus 8.7 to 8.7. This I kept so that it will not interfere with the boundary. But of course you can change this as you want. And again, a random Y coordinate with the same range. So what this gives us is inclusions centers coordinates which are created randomly and they are inside RVE. Now we have to check if it intersects with any other existing inclusions. So of course for first time when your inclusion is created it will not intersect but for second time when you create a inclusions we will check its distance from all the existing inclusions and we will make sure that if the distance is less than 2.2 two times of its radius, it will not get created. Instead of this two times radius, I am keeping 2.2 because as I said, I want some gap in between any two inclusions. So if it is too close or if it is intersecting, we will just break this loop and we will not add those coordinates to this X coordinate list. But if it is not intersecting, then we will append this X coordinate and Y coordinate list with that random inclusions coordinate. And whenever we add any inclusion, we will increase the number of inclusions by one. And this process will continue until the maximum inclusion number is reached. So you can see over here, this is a while loop. So while loop will keep on going unless this condition is met. And once we have coordinates of all the inclusions center, then it is very easy. Then we just have to partition the RVE with a circle whose center coordinates are given by these coordinate lists and radius is whatever you defined. Then next process is straightforward. We are creating material one, material two, creating sections, assigning those sections. Again, when you assign the section, remember you have to assign it for all the inclusions. Therefore, again, there will be one more for loop. Then create an instance, create a step, create boundary conditions. This part is straightforward. Then seed the instance, then set the element type. Again, over here, it is in a for loop because we have to set it for each inclusion then generate mesh, then I'm creating sets for edge, bottom edge and top edge, and then creating a history output request for bottom edge. And here we are requesting RF2, which is reaction force in Y direction. This is because we are applying load in Y direction. And finally create job here again, while creating job, you have to keep that parameter Q in the job name. Otherwise it will get overwritten. And at the end, we are writing the INP file with write input command and then submitting a job. Now this last command is very important. This says wait for completion. What this means is when first job is submitted, the Abacus will wait until that job is completed. Then only it will continue with the Python script. If you want to submit all the job together simultaneously, if you have more licenses, you can just comment this out. Then Abacus will submit all the jobs at once. But usually it's better to wait because sometimes it's too much for your PC. Now let's start with Abacus CI and run this script. As usual, first set up your working directory and then go to run script and over here you have to choose your script. So I'm choosing this random inclusion and let's run it. Once it starts to run, you can see over here it is creating model one. Job one is created and job one already started. So it will take some time because we are running 10 jobs. So I will just fast forward over here. But now what script is doing is just creating different different models with random inclusions and so applying boundary conditions and everything as whatever we specified in script and submitting the job. And as I gave the command wait for completion, the job two will not start unless job one is successfully completed. So I will fast forward over here and let's see how it goes. A few moments later. Okay, all 10 jobs are done. I think it took us about around five minutes, but depending on how big your RVE is and how many number of elements are there, it will vary. So as you can see, we created 10 models and 10 jobs and we also submitted those 10 jobs and this is I think first model you can see there are randomly dispersed inclusion if you change this model you can see the inclusions are also changing over here and if you go to property 
and then change the colors to materials then you can see inclusions are assigned with one material and the matrix is another material now let's see one results i'm going to results for this job one if you see the deform shape and we requested one history output remember so if we go and check in this odb history output say continue here you will see the here you will see the reaction force in y direction for all the nodes in bottom edge now to calculate the homogenized young's modulus what we have to do is we have to add the reaction forces in all these nodes and then we will get overall reaction force then we will divide that overall reaction force by this area to calculate the stress and we know the strain so we can calculate young's modulus but now as you can see we have 10 jobs and doing this manually is not that easy therefore we need to write another python script which will go through all the odbs and process all the results and give us what finally we want and that will be the topic of next video. Next time we will see how to write a Python script to read the ODB files. And that also multiple ODB files, not just a single one. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. And the link for this code is in the description box. You can download the code from that link. And I upload new videos on every Monday on this channel. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.